After over a year, welcome to a new episode of Road Front Scale. Let's move on to the clips. Warming up, we have two incidences in quick succession. The red car turning left, followed by the black cab going past as I move around the park traffic. Moving up as you approach this light, I will let Megatron summarize how I feel when the cyclist on the left does this. <sighs> Whatever. Ha ha ha, Megatron, he's so funny. Silly Megatron. Talking about silly, I mean, look at that great car, right? And now that van on the left could have been made a sandwich. Cyclist sandwiches don't taste good and aren't good for the environment. This is a note in watching what the car in front of you is doing. Well, I say watching. See what you think. The black car appears to be pausing in the middle of the road, and whoa! Wasn't expecting that. You stopped and then moved. Then you signaled. I mean, seriously, dude. Ah, having a bit of a flashback to a previous episode, we're going to a similar clip from a previous King of the Prats. It is, yes, it's a salmon cyclist. Curse those salmoning cyclists. They want to get squished and flattened. And just for a little bit of continuity, behold in front of you, the red traffic lights. Different day though. Now a lesson in track standing. If you're going to track stand behind all this traffic, you better be good. The gentleman on the right next to the white car. Whoop. Awkward. Could have broken your wheels, silly person. I'm liking silly. Silly's my word of the day. And I say, the root of much silliness is impatience, which is exactly what this bus driver shows. Any cyclist in London will have seen this before. Overtakes, immediately pulls in left, forces you out into oncoming traffic. Dude! As we all know, cyclists love to get slapped in the bum by wing mirrors. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. You were just a bit too far out. You couldn't slap him on the bum. That cyclist will be very, very disappointed. That student, not a good driver. Neither, for that mind matter, was the teacher. This is just a, you know, a clip to show the new camera angle. It's not like anything happened at all. I'm just showing this off because, you know, it's my normal commute in, heading towards central London. It's a nice day. Well, <laughs> I say nice. It's a grey sky. Well, I guess it is nice to this country, really. Uh, and, you know, all these cars are going to be well behaved. And... Ah! <laughs> Heck, oh, my cat jumped. Sorry, Simba. Anyway, this is the final clip of the episode. This gentleman who's just got in, shunted into the back of me, is this week's King of the Prats. I mean, it's not enough on its own to make him King of the Prats. That would just have earned you a place in the episode. No, 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 what's about to happen makes him King of the Prats. I say no harm done, no problem. Let's just move on. No one was caused any damage. And then he jumps a red light. Ooh! Red light, you crack! Red light, you crack! <laughs>